If you want to make a mead and you don't know what honey to buy, um, I'm here to help. So let's talk about where to buy your honey for your mead making. Hey, this is Man Made Mead. Um, today, I would love to chat and talk about um, buying honey. Now, whenever I first started um, mead making, I, of course, was in the, the predicament of figuring out where to buy my honey. And uh, a lot of people, as I did my own research for where to get said buy locally, which is great, um, and then I found places online and, and all these things. So I want to give you some ideas. I have bought a lot of honey online. Um, I've bought locally a couple times as well. Um, but let me tell you from beginning, beginner level to basically, um, if you're kind of like me where you're making a lot of mead and you want to buy uh, honey for a reasonable price, what you can do. So I have a couple of things here. These are some online, uh, online slash in-store options. Uh, I've bought a lot from Sam's. I've also used Costco before because they have in-store honey. So this is a great example of a honey a lot of people use. This is a clover honey from Costco. And it is uh, pretty cheap. I believe this was like somewhere in the tw 13 to $15 um, for five pounds of honey, which is a really good deal, frankly. Most of the time, you only find, um, you find honey for maybe three pounds for like uh, 15 to $20. So getting five pounds for that same range is pretty good. Um, which a good example of that is this right here. It's still in the wrapping because I'm actually using it as a, a giveaway item right now. But this is uh, Crockett's Raw three pound honey. This is um, Arizona Desert Wildflower Honey. I've used it before, really great. Um, but this was, I think about $18 for the three pounds. So if you go in store, uh, Costco is great. Sam's is great. Sam's has some good options for honey and they work really well. The big thing is you wanna look for um, honey that is hopefully unpasteurized, uh, meaning it's not heated up because you begin to lose some of the character of honey and the important things that make honey what it is if you don't, um, if you have something that has been pasteurized. And it's okay, you can use pasteurized honey, it just has a little different flavor. Um, so this is pretty cheap. This is probably the cheapest you can get for right now, I would say. Um, five pounds for like $15 from Costco. Uh, online, you can get any, really any kind of honey you want. That's the great thing about shopping online. Um, <clears throat> you can get wildflower honey, you can get clover honey, you can get the extremes, um, like blueberry blossom, um, bakers, just straight up honey. Uh, what other ones have I used? There's uh, orange blossom, Tupelo, all of those. I've bought those online. And when I say online, I use Amazon quite a bit because Amazon's wonderful. And I'll actually include down in the uh, description, um, some links to, to these honeys that I've used before and the stuff that I would recommend you buy um, because it's helpful to know who's used it for one um, and if it's worth buying. So I'll of course include the ones that have been really good. Um, let's say that you are looking online and you have wanted to make your first mead or you've been making meads. Um, you can start to buy bigger uh, batches of honey. So three pounds is a pretty standard for about a gallon of, of uh, mead. So if you wanted to make a four pound, or excuse me, four gallon um, amount of mead or more, you need more honey than that. So you start to buy bigger bulk. Um, I don't have a great example because I haven't bought it in a while, but there are 12 pound or one gallon containers of honey. Um, and I've used this same company, um, and I've used a Texas brand, uh, Texas wildflower honey. Um, what else have I used? I've used the, like a 12 pound of orange blossom honey before that works really well. And that was, um, you know, for that, I spent probably $60 for 12, 12 pounds. And that was still <clears throat> a pretty good deal, I would say. Not the greatest deal overall, but ultimately for getting started, it got me to where I wanted to be which enabled me to, of course, decide what recipes work well, what honeys I like, and um, then in the future start to want, use more honey, buy more honey. So that leads me to my final, what I've been purchasing recently. I've been through these guys, three pounds and five pounds. I've used 12 pounds before. And now I'm starting to kind of stick to one varietal honey <clears throat> at a time and buy a 60 pound pail. 
So this is from Dutch Gold. I can find their logo. Dutch Gold <coughs> um, Honey. And they, uh, you can buy bulk honey from them with a bunch of different kind of flavors and varietals for a pretty good price, frankly. Um, and of course, I will put this down in the description for going to their website to checking them out. But when you buy bulk, um, you end up saving a lot of money. The problem, of course, is you're, you're stuck with a bunch of honey, so you kind of have to choose one you like, which is very important, but you also have to um, just be ready to make a lot of mead, um, and that's, that's okay too. So this right here is actually avocado blossom honey, um, and it's one that I saw on their website and I, I was very curious about. I wanted to try, and so I ended up, um, of course, purchasing it, and clearly. And I've been, you, you know, you can't really see on here, but I've used probably a uh, tailbar right there. Of course, it comes filled almost full. But this has been a, a great source of honey. I'm on my um, third, like, 60-pound pail of honey from them, or five gallons. For your reference, 12 pounds of honey is a gallon of honey. Um, so, you know, if you, if you have five gallons, you get the 60 pounds. Um, but I'm on my third, uh, third pail from them. And it has um, been wonderful, really good, because I make a lot of mead now, and I want to be cost effective while doing it. Of course, you have to kind of be ready to use it, which is totally fine. <clears throat> and I would suggest you to try it if you are planning to make a bunch of meads. Overall, these are great online options. You can also go local, and I do not want to diminish that at all. Um, I have not chosen to go local as much because of price. Where honey is, or honey availability around me currently um, is not, it, it is very available, but they're, the prices are pretty high. And so, for example, um, my three pounds, I've bought locally three pounds of just clover blossom from uh, someone one time. And it was, I think, about $25 for the three pounds. And so when I started to think, well, I want to make a mead that's five gallons, I'm going to need 15 pounds of honey. It didn't seem very appeasing to me at the time to spend almost $150, $125 worth of, $125 on 12 pounds of honey. When I can almost get that exact same thing, um, spending that amount of money, getting like 60 pounds. And while this honey has some different things going on with it, being that um, it is more mass produced, so they do, I think they do a little pasteurization to it just to clarify it, just to keep kind of the, some of the gross things from being in it. Um, it's more cost effective for me. And that's what I found important, especially when I wanted to make more meads. If you're limited by cost, uh, it, it kind of can really affect your meads and what you can make. So uh, I do encourage you to buy locally, especially if you can afford it for one, but also if you have a great deal. Uh, there are better deals out there for local honey, and I know that you can probably find it around you. Um, so check your farmer's markets, check your uh, grocery stores, because sometimes they have those. Um, and then just if you know somebody, of course, go and, and talk to them about that. Uh, and that will help you get some honey. If you are just beginning to make mead, start small, um, go with the <clears throat> three pounds, and then start to figure out how to make your mead. You know, make a gallon of mead, three pounds of honey, a gallon of water, and some yeast, and then whatever else you want to put in. And then the next time you decide to make a mead, go ahead and of course buy something bigger or do the same thing. Um, I started stair-stepping mine from three to the five to the gallons to now here. And uh, next time I buy honey, um, I of course like to buy the varietals in the smaller portions. For example, if I wanted to make a Tupelo mead, um, Tupelo honey is very expensive and I would never make a massive amount of Tupelo mead, honey mead, because it is super expensive. So I would buy it, you know, in a three pound container, something like that. So if I run across that, I'll buy that. But most of the time I'm gonna buy the 60 pound uh, big containers because that allows me to do more with it. So I hope I've helped. Um, and like I said, all of these honeys uh, and ideas are really down in the description if you want to know what I've used and what I recommend, but then also uh, just give you some ideas um, then I, that helps me out big time. So um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, if you have any ideas for a better place to find honey, place to buy honey really, 
uh, leave it down below and give your opinion. I'd love to hear that. Of course, leave a like and, um, and then hit that bell because that tells you that, hey, Man Man Meat is uploaded, which gives me some uh, support as well. And then finally, I have a bunch of links down below to a Patreon where you can support me, a Facebook group where we get to talk about things like buying honey, like making mead, um, and then a merchandise store, a P.O. box, a bunch of things. So uh, I appreciate that support. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I hope you all also have a wonderful day. So thank you for tuning in, and cheers.